Natalie Cole, the Grammy award-winning daughter of Nat King Cole, left a unique mark on the American music landscape. Natalie Cole was born in Los Angeles, California on February 6, 1950, to singers Nat King Cole and Maria Cole. She was raised in a household that facilitated her own unique musical ability. Natalie began to record with her father at the age of six when she recorded I'm Goodwill, Your Christmas Spirit. By the time Natalie was 11 years old, the young songstress had begun performing in the community. Natalie Cole's world was rocked when on February 1965, at the age of 15, she lost her father, the legendary Nat King Cole, to cancer. The death of her father greatly affected Natalie Cole, which would become obvious later in her career through her songwriting and tributes. Natalie Cole did not set out to have a career in music. Following high school, she enrolled at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where she majored in child psychology. During this period, Natalie had begun performing over a summer break in Amherst at a venue called The Pub. This is where she would meet the writing and producing team of Chuck Jackson and Marvin Yancey in 1975. From this encounter, the duo helped Cole land a deal with Capitol Records and later that year create the album Inseparable. This album burst onto the music scene with hit songs such as This Will Be An Everlasting Love. This propelled the young starlet to her first two Grammy Awards for Best New Artist and Best Female R&B Performance. Natalie's career continued to soar throughout the 1970s. She turned out four gold and two platinum records. Her third and first platinum album, Unpredictable, 1977, donned yet another number one R&B hit, I've Got Love On My Mind. In 1976, not long after Inseparable was released, Cole married producer Marvin Yancey, an ordained Baptist minister. The couple welcomed their son, Robert Adam Yancey, into the world in 1977. Her success in the 1970s culminated in 1979 when she was awarded her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, both signifying and solidifying her prowess as a performer. The early 1980s ushered in a lull in Natalie's personal and professional lives. Natalie and Marvin Yancey were divorced in 1980. Natalie's struggle with drug addiction increased, and she parted ways with Capitol Records. Determined not to give up, she began recording again after a stint in rehab in 1983, in which she overcame her addiction. This led to Natalie being back on the charts with a mega hit by the 1980s, Pink Cadillac. Natalie remarried in 1989 to record producer Andre Fisher. The couple divorced in 1995. The 90s saw Cole release many popular albums, including the career-defining album for which she is best known, Unforgettable with Love. Unforgettable pays tribute to her father, featuring many beautiful renditions of standards previously recorded by Nat King Cole. The album sold more than 7 million copies and garnered several honors, including the coveted Grammy for Album of the Year. Natalie also launched her acting career before the end of the decade, appearing on television series of the time. The year 2000 saw Natalie release her 2000 autobiography, Angel on My Shoulder. Cole expressed her depression and heavy drug use throughout her career, in 2001, Cole starred as herself in Living for Love, The Natalie Cole Story, a TV movie adaptation of her autobiography. 2008 saw Natalie release Still Unforgettable, which was well received, winning the singer yet another Grammy, this time for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album. 
Sadly, Natalie Cole died from congestive heart failure on December 31, 2015 in Los Angeles. She was 65. She leaves behind a legacy as one of the most celebrated, unique, and iconic women in R&B history. <laughs>